Hi friends, it's Rabbi Allison Solomon. And the sun is setting. And in Jewish tradition, when the sun sets, particularly on Friday night, we enter into a island or a palace of time. That's what Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel called it. And I wanted to share with you kind of the raw, the raw material of Shabbat, because Sometimes on Friday night, we are not necessarily near uh, a synagogue or a place of worship or a home or a table or a fancy meal or even friends, family, but it's still Shabbat. And so I wanted to share with you how, how I bring in Shabbat wherever I am. And here I happen to be at the edge of the ocean. The sun is is setting. Yes, I'm using my camera <laughs> for the, the purposes of, of learning and sharing. And the, the first blessing of distinction in bringing in Shabbat, the first blessing of distinction in bringing in Shabbat is the blessing over light. And so sometimes you know, when the sky is like this, I offer the blessing over the sky and the changing of the light and the color. I don't say the, the traditional Lahad uh, Liknar Shel Shabbat, but I, I, praise, I praise the light and the changing of light. And the next blessing that we say in creating that distinction is the blessing over wine. And the blessing over wine is said as a sign of sanctification and of joy making. It's anytime we Jews uh, get together to ritualize, there's usually wine involved. <laughs> wine is a, a sign of joy and simcha and blessing and, and abundance. So in my heart, I take in, I take in wine and sweetness and abundance. And then the third blessing is over challah, over that beautiful, yummy, <laughs> French toastable bread, <laughs> the yummy egg bread. And what that's about is, of course, uh, the partnership between us and God and what's possible through our hands all week long to nourish and sustain and uh, provide for others to offer and help and, and feed, feed our families, feed our friends, feed those in need. So again, I close my eyes or keep them wide open and I offer a blessing for all the sustenance in my life and the ways that I have been nurtured and nourished and the strength and capacity to nourish and nourish, nourish and nurture others. And those are the blessings of Shabbat. It's about the light 